Hello, I'm Brian Atkinson and welcome to UK Aircraft Explored. In this video we shall cover the Spitfire Mark V's cooling system. I shall give you extracts from the 1942 Air Ministry Manual and show relevant reworked colour AP diagrams. I hope you find this interesting. The coolant used in the Spitfire 5's cooling system is a mixture of 70% distilled water and 30% ethylene glycol. The header tank is mounted over the reduction gear casing at the front of the engine and a pipe from each side of the tank joins a common pipe running along the starboard side of the engine. This pipe is supported in a bracket on the engine mounting and is connected to a thermostat mounted in the leading edge of the starboard plane. From the thermostat, a pipe leads aft through the fuselage spar to the top of the radiator mounted in the undersurface of the starboard plane. The outlet from the inboard side of the radiator runs forward through the fuselage spar and then to the coolant pump underneath the engine. A bypass pipe is connected between the thermostat and the pump to bypass the coolant until it is hot enough to need passing through the radiator. The top of the header tank is fitted with a filler cap, access to which is gained through an opening panel on the engine cowling. and a thermostatically controlled relief valve which opens when the pressure inside the tank reaches two and a half pounds per square inch above atmospheric pressure. A vent pipe from the valve passes to starboard and through the cowling. Just after the thermostat a second vent pipe is connected to the line to the radiator. The pipe leading up to the top surface of the leading edge of the starboard plane, where a vent cock is fitted. The coolant radiator is mounted in the undersurface of the starboard plane at two points on the outboard side and one point on the inboard side. It is enclosed in a fairing open at the front and rear the rear opening being fitted with a flap to regulate the flow of air and thus the rate of cooling. The flap is operated from the cockpit by means of a handle on the port side of the pilot's seat. The handle is attached to a shaft which is pivoted on the fuselage structure and in a spherical bearing in the side of the radiator fairing. A lever on the end of the shaft is connected to the flap by a link lever. The operating handle contains a spring-loaded trigger which engages in one of several notches in a quadrant to secure the flap in the position the pilot desires. The trigger is operated by a plunger in the end of the handle. With the handle in the rearmost position, the flap almost completely closes the air outlet at the rear of the radiator and warm air from the radiator flows through ducts into the gun positions in each plane to prevent the guns from becoming frozen up. Normally the flap is placed in this position only at high altitudes. Here I thought I'd include a few extra photos showing various details of the radiator.
Well that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. We'll be covering the Rolls-Royce Merlin 45 engine in another in-depth video soon. Please click the free subscribe button below and click the bell to get notifications when future videos are posted. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.